We like to produce really good quality facilities for the students, inspirational you might say. Like the windows will open and close depending on the temperature of the room so it's quite good because it's never too hot and stuffy. We're trying to use as much natural energy as we possibly can. It's fantastic, the rooms are really large, um, there's loads of windows, loads of light coming through. It's really nice to work in. This building gave us the opportunity to provide different environmental solutions and basically it means that we can get much better cost performance and lower carbon emissions. The Faculty of Health Building at Edge Hill University is a three-storey building of approximately 7,000 square metres. It accommodates around a thousand occupants and includes teaching spaces, staff offices, social and catering areas and a huge lecture room that divides into three smaller spaces. We looked at various options for renewable technologies. We elected to use ground source heat pumps and importantly solar thermal where we gather the heat out of the sun through an evacuated tube system which is very efficient and it's virtually free once you've paid the capital cost and a very modest running cost. We also had a good opportunity because of the ground conditions where we have good aquifers and following a borehole test there were good flow rates available. The system that we've used is an open loop extraction system. The heat pump was originally just to provide the heating and cooling uh, for here and, and mainly for the lecture theatre. There was a need in an adjoining building to provide some cooling as well. We decided that we would exploit the system further and export cooling to the adjacent link building and plan to export heating to the adjacent LRC building also. A fairly straightforward arrangement, uh, simply insulated underground pipes that connect them, controlled by a building management system. The building is orientated to take advantage of natural daylight and designed to use natural ventilation and cooling to minimise the energy demand. Windows automatically open to promote fresh airflow throughout the teaching, office and circulation spaces. On summer nights, the windows open during the early hours of the morning to allow cold air to cool the exposed concrete slabs. In the heat of the day, this thermal mass helps to maintain a comfortable temperature. We've tried to plan the building so all areas are naturally lit and naturally ventilated. With a passive approach, you don't put particularly large amounts of mechanical electrical plant into a building, and obviously in doing so, that reduces costs. A number of the buildings have undertaken a thermal imaging camera analysis. In some of the earlier buildings, where the external wall was like that and the roof came over the top, there was heat loss. In this building, we've, we've turned that around so the wall carries up with a small parapet and we've found that to be successful, reducing the leakage. The air tightness for this building is 7.5 metres cubed per hour at 50 pascals. The minimum criteria for a pass is 10, so we're, we're better than building regulations. The construction of the building is fairly traditional, using brick and block together with large areas of glazing on the north-facing aspects. Where needed, artificial light has been used to provide a fresh, contemporary learning space for the students. Low-carbon technology is perceived as being relatively expensive, but actually we found it to be quite cost-effective. Certainly the running costs are very cost-effective, and the capital cost to us was quite modest. Total budget for the health faculty was £10.14 million. The cost of the building was £1,300 a square metre, which we consider fairly low compared to other more highly serviced buildings in this sector. Carbon Trust were involved in the project to uh, monitor the various key stages of the development. The building has extensive metering, both electricity, gas and water. From the information we've been able to help improve the efficiency of the building and also looking at how the system is performing. We found that the solar thermal performance in the health faculty building has been exceptional and that's been used elsewhere in two other projects since. As built, the building's carbon emissions are predicted to be 18% better than the standard required by current building regulations. We've 
gradually been reducing the carbon footprints of each of the buildings and making them not only low energy, but low carbon. The lessons learned from this building we are using with other buildings on the campus. We were pleased to win the RICS Regional Award for Sustainability and students connect with that. Upstairs there's a big display which tells you how much heat the building's using. It's got sort of a feel that uh, the uni's given something back. It's important that we are involved in actually trying to walk the talk of sustaining the environment. It's very important that we continue to reduce the amount of energy that we use in buildings. It reduces the cost of running the buildings, it reduces the carbon consequence and it improves the environment for all of us.